So things you'll need, obviously your PFS catapult, a knife, your band set, some band ties and some string. So uh, I have my catapult here. As you can see I'm using uh, Apex Pro Hunter by John Jeffries Custom Catapults. So you want to take your band set and on your band set obviously you've marked out where you're going to be attaching your bands. It's on both sides as you can see here. What you want to do, you want to line that line up. You want to put it just in your uh, your grooves or where you tie your bands. Just in the middle of your grooves like that. So make sure it's all lined up. And then what you want to do, you want to tie, uh, grab one of your band ties. Just like that. Place it on that line in the middle of your band groove. Hold it down with your thumb and do your first wrap. You want to wrap it round, not too tight. You just want to do it so it holds your band in place. So that you can uh, shift it about uh, once it's tied down. You can always adjust it afterwards after this first wrap. As you can see, it's just holding band down in groove like that. At this point, I'm just going to uh, adjust my band, make sure it's centred, make sure it's all straight and everything. Make sure everything's just lined up and nice and neat. So we've done that. Then what you want to start doing you want to start wrapping i like to do four wraps on mine so the first one and then two three then one more four hold that down with your thumb and then this little tagger band i like to fold that up just makes it a lot neater and then wrap over the top of that like i says it just it just makes everything neater and uh, makes it look tidy so you want to wrap over the top of that and then wrap another one then what you want to do, you want to take your little piece of string, place it on top of your bands, like such. And uh, once I've got it right, place it on top of your band, and then wrap over the top of that as well. This makes it easier to pull your band through once you've finished wrapping. So wrap over the top of that a couple of times, and then in a minute you'll see. What I'll do is I'll uh, pull that band through that loop, like so. And then uh, pull that piece of string down through uh, the band tie. And what that does, it'll pull the little tag end at uh, band tie through the bottom at bands. And uh, keep it nice and neat. I don't like to pull it all the way through. Because um, I just like to keep it tidy. Stuff like that. So I'll just pull it slightly through. Remove your piece of string. And that's one side done. Um, I'll repeat the other side. And uh, get back to you once it's finished. So as you can see, I've got both sides done here. A little tag end like that that's left on your band tie you can always just cut off. So uh, I like to use a really sharp knife. Just uh, cut that little tag end off, keep it nice and neat. So just pull it, cut that little bit of excess band tie off. Make it look really nice and tidy. And there you have it. Your bands are completely tied onto your frame. All centred. Completely straight. And you can't go wrong with it. You'll be glad to know it all. I've got a new head mount. And my GoPros. So I can use all my GoPros and that. I have a couple of different mounts. And I'll actually be able to show you my shots and that when I go out shooting. So this video applies for people who shoot gangster. Gangster is having your uh, frame on its side like that, which is what I shoot. Um, same rules sort of apply for people that shoot upright, like that. But um, like I says, this is mainly for gangster shooting, because I don't shoot upright. Uh, so what first thing you want to do so that's as if you're shooting gangster, you hold your frame on its side like that. So, I don't know if you can see that. That's how you'd hold your frame on its side. Now the main thing to uh, shooting PFS is your pouch, grip and release. Everything with your frame hand, pretty much the same as a normal catapult. It's your uh, your pouch, grip and release, that's your main, your main difference. So what you want to do, so if you've got your frame on its side, on a normal catapult, that's how you'd hold your pouch, which is uh, perpendicular 
to the ground. What you want to do is you want to twist 45 degrees so your thumb's facing your sen and slightly tweak the pouch. So I'll just turn it that way so you can see. So you've turned your pouch 45 degrees towards yourself. And you want to slightly tweak your pouch, put a slight bend in your pouch. So when you release that ball, it kicks up over the top of your thumb. If you don't do this and you shoot a PFS slingshot, catapult, whatever you want to call it, the same way that you shoot your normal frame, you'll get a fork it. Obviously with normal frames, there's a larger gap, which minimises the chance of getting a fork it. So like I said, that's how you hold a normal frame. You want to turn the pouch 45 degrees, so it's facing you, your thumb's facing you, sorry. Tweak the pouch, and then take it to your anchor point, or, as I do, I shoot instinctive with it, so I don't aim with PFS. But I've found if I do want to aim, my aim point is if I pull back and rest the knuckle of my thumb just on my tragus of my ear there. Just that point there. So, yeah. So, draw back. Turn 45 degrees. Tweak. Fetch to your anchor point, aim up, release. So, uh, like I said, that's, that's your main thing that you want to do. It's your pouch release, that is your main, your main, uh, what do I say? Your main uh, problem. If you don't get it right, you'll most likely end up with a fork it. I would recommend getting a cheap, cheap PFS slingshot when first uh, starting out with PFS. Because obviously risk risk is higher while you're learning a fork it in your frame. You don't want an expensive frame like this. You want you can make your own out of some uh, birch plywood. They always make good catties. Um, but yeah, or a natural, you could even make a natural PFS. You find a na nice natural tree fork. Cut it with a small gap. And uh, you've got yourself a PFS. So I'll have a few shots. I'll explain while I'm shooting, what I'm doing, and uh, see if you can catch on with it. Right, so I've just got a Arizona can. Let's stick it on here, and we'll go to about 20 metres. If it don't fall over. Right. To about 20 meters, we'll have a shot. I'll show you how to do it. Right, so we've got this can down there. Like it says, what you want to do get your pouch, turn it 45 degrees, tweak. Fetch back to your anchor point and release. And that, with a bit of practice, is how we shoot PFS. Just always want to remember to constantly do the same thing. It's all about repetition and consistency with your shots. And if if you're shooting without consistency, you're not gonna con you're not gonna you're not gonna hit your target. It's like out it's like out else with normal catapult. It's all about perfect repetition and consistency. So I hope that's helped. Um just a short video today. Like I says, I'll be putting a a long video up. A uh, hunting video in the next couple of days. Um so keep an eye out for that. And yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna have a shot on a dangling two pence. Still with PFS. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's just down there. There we go. I don't know if you heard that. Absolutely smacked it. Yeah. Uh.
gone. Just shows you can be just as accurate with the PFS as you can a full size catapult. I do hunt, I do hunt with PFS as well. So I'll have to put a video up of me uh, hunting with it. Might even take it on my next hunt with me. But uh, just a fun little thing. Awesome for shooting. But yeah, just as accurate as a full size catapult. Well yeah, that's pretty much it for this video anyway. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. If you want to see more PFS videos like this, or hunting with PFS, just drop a comment. Let me know. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.